is Emma Betters. I am a PhD student at the University of Tennessee under Dr. Tony Schmitz uh, and a staff member at the Manufacturing Demonstration Facility at Oak Ridge National Laboratory under Dr. Scott Smith. Um, I did my undergraduate degree at the University of Florida um, as a sophomore level course there. All students are required to take a design and manufacturing laboratory course. So I took that course my my sophomore year. I don't think I had ever thought about manufacturing prior to that. Um, I like to build things as a kid, but manufacturing as a whole wasn't really something I thought of as a career path. CAD softwares are pushed a lot on the you know, technical students. Like I learned some of those um, in high school and then they're pushed more in college, but there's a, a disconnect in the actual manufacturing world. We're learning CAMs, computer aided manufacturing softwares. Um, I know I took a co-op here when I was an undergraduate at the University of Tennessee, where I worked for 15 months with a company that I learned the CAD softwares they use, but I was kind of kept out of learning the CAM and programming um, softwares they use and actually the, the logic and you know, how you actually machine and manufacture different components. I really liked manufacturing. I thought it was really cool that I could design a part and I got to walk away with it at the end of the day. Um, it's nice to be able to hold something that you made. I learned from machining the different components and assembling it just how detail-oriented you need to be for the, your design and the intent of the manufacturing has to tie all in together to have a working final product. Um, and also just, just the, the complexity that uh, I wasn't quite aware of prior to, to entering into this realm. We got to show them a lot of different work holding methods, a lot of different tools and processes, so drilling, reaming, facing. Um, so that was really neat. Uh, and then we also got to talk about additive manufacturing a little bit. So we did some post-machining of some additively manufactured components. So a really cool aspect of the ACE uh, in-person component was that we actually machined um, a polymer component that was 3D printed, which was a, a, an idea that I hadn't been exposed to uh, previously, but the uh, valve body that we actually used in our reciprocating air engine had internal features that you couldn't reach through a conventional sense. So you couldn't actually subtractively uh, manufacture this component in its entirety. Seeing the different backgrounds of our ACE participants was actually one of the coolest things about this program, in my opinion. Um, we had we set this up so that no previous machining experience was required or expected. Uh, so we had high school students uh, that had never seen a milling machine before, all the way up to a father-son team um, that had been running a machine shop for years. So it was actually really cool to see each of those different groups kind of grow in different ways. So the instructors were great because they were greeting a body of students that all you know had different backgrounds, but essentially the same level of um, expertise in the machining world. So we got to talk about a lot more things that come into play when you're putting things together, not just looking at a single component. Hearing the machines run for the first time was just uh, kind of a, an awakening experience. You know, when you hear that, that face mill run across the low carbon steel, just I was like, oh. I would say the reception um, from tenured engineers uh, in the manufacturing community to females in the space is actually quite good. It's insane how difficult it can be to get enlightened into this world and this program actually allows you to get um, an online or rather a software based component and a hands-on component in the, you know, it's a, an opportunity that you wouldn't be able to find anywhere else.